given x plus y equals minus eight. x y equals eight. Find y root of y over x plus x root of x over y. This video contains the following sections. Reading the problem carefully and understanding it. Developing a plan to solve it. Solving the problem, thinking about it further and try to apply the approach to other problems. Near the end of the video, there's an additional question which can be solved using a similar approach to that used for solving the specific problem. If you find these helpful, please subscribe to the channel for notification of new videos by pressing the video watermark in the right hand corner of the video player. Given x, y satisfy the simultaneous equations, we want to work out the value of the algebraic expression containing x and y because x, y equals eight. So x and y must have the same sign because x plus y equals minus eight. So x is less than zero, y is less than zero because there are two equations and two variables, x and y. So one way to work out y root of y over x plus x root of x over y is to solve the simultaneous equations first, then substitute the values of x and y in y root of y over x plus x root of x over y and simplify it. Alternatively, we can simplify y root of y over x plus x root of x over y directly first and then use x plus y equals minus eight x y equals eight to work out y root of y over x plus x root of x over y because x plus y equals minus eight so x plus y all squared equals 64. Simplifying, we have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equals 64. Because xy equals 8. So x squared plus y squared equals 64 minus 2xy equals 64 minus 2 times 8 equals 48. y root of y over x plus x root of x over y. We want to simplify this algebraic expression. For the first term, consider the part of this term that's under the square root. We multiply both the numerator and the denominator by x. For the second term, consider the part of the term that's under the square root. 
we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by y. Because x is less than zero, y is less than zero. So x squared to the power of a half can be written as minus x and y squared to the power of a half can be written as minus y. Simplifying, we have minus root of xy times y over x plus x over y, which is equal to minus root of xy times x squared plus y squared over xy, which is equal to minus root eight times 48 over eight, which is minus 12 over two. Now we have an alternative method because x plus y equals minus eight, xy equals eight. So rearranging means x equals minus eight minus y. Substituting this in xy equals eight, we have minus eight minus y times y equals eight. Simplifying, we have y squared plus eight y plus eight equals zero. This is a quadratic equation. So there are two roots. Y equals minus eight plus minus root of 64 minus 32 over two, which is equal to minus four plus minus two root two. So Y one equals minus four plus two root two. Substituting this into x equals minus eight minus y, we have x one equals minus eight minus y one equals minus four minus two root two. Y two equals minus four minus two root two. Substituting this in x equals minus eight minus y. x2 equals minus eight minus y2 equals minus four plus two root two. Because x and y are symmetrical in y root of y over x plus x root of x over y. So we can take x equals minus four plus two root two, y equals minus four minus two root two. To work out y root of y over x plus x root of x over y. The algebraic expression is equal to minus four minus two root two root of minus four minus two root two over minus four plus two root two plus minus four plus two root two root of minus four plus two root two over minus four minus two root two. which is equal to minus four minus two root two times root two plus one plus minus four plus two root two times root two minus one. 
Simplifying, we have minus four root two, minus four, minus four, minus two root two, plus minus four root two, plus four, plus four, minus two root two, equals minus 12 root two. In summary, in method one, we simplified the algebraic expression containing x and y first, then worked out the value of the algebraic expression using given conditions. It's a relatively simpler and quicker way to solve the problem. In method two, we solved the simultaneous equations first, then substituted the values of x and y into the algebraic expression, then simplified the algebraic expression. Relatively, it takes more time to solve the problem this way. Think about the thoughts process for the previous question further and try to apply the approach to other problems. Such as this one, given x plus y equals minus 10, xy equals 14. Find x squared root of x over y plus y squared root of y over x. You can write your answers in the comments section if you like. Can you think of other problems that can be solved using a similar approach. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.